Well, we've already shown you how to create your own function key menu. Maybe you need to have a little warm up on how to edit or put in some features, some functions, some key in that you would like to assign to a function key. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to come up here to the file and open and I'm going to open up my own personal menu here. So my menu.mnu. So you can see that we've already used the control plus F12 to activate automatically the function key.mnu, which is a function key. So let me show you a feature that is going to be nice. Even though by default, MicroStation will show you the current function key along the very middle right in here, let me show you how you can control a message, where it appears here on the left side. If I type in the letter M at the end of this statement, and notice that the M is going to be message, and I put in a copy, I now have a couple of things as options. I can type in either the initials ER, which will tell MicroStation that we're going to put the prompt that I'm about to add or a message to the left side. Or I can backspace and type in ST. ST will say that I want the prompt or my message to appear on the right side. Now you also have two more combinations. CF, which allows me then to put it to the left of my prompt, and there'll be a right arrow pointing to the right. Or I can finally say PR, which will be to the right of the prompt or the right of the arrow. So let me show you uh, an example of what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and type in ER, and let's, we're going to say that this is basically going to let me know that when I press this, the fun key dot MNU menu is loaded. That is my message. And again, I love placing a semicolon at the end, so MicroStation knows it's terminated. Let's try it out. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And notice now if I press the control button down, keep it down, and press the F12, take a look at what happens. First of all, notice that the fun key menu is loaded, but look at the message. Funkey.mnu is loaded. Now let's go back here to the workspace, and we're going to go to function keys. And I'm going to slide down here. Again, if you don't see your control plus 12, the easiest thing to do is to click this and then change this to F12, and it will automatically load the button up here. You don't have to find it. Now watch. Let's go ahead and change the message field. Let's say we want to type in M for message, but we want it to locate it to the right of the prompt. I'm going to type in PR, and now I'm going to say, with no space here, that my menu dot MNU is loaded. Go ahead and put a semicolon, press the OK button. Let's take a look at this now. Now I'm going to press the control and keep it down and press F12. Can you see how the menu now appears, or that my menu.mnu message is loaded, is to the right of the prompt of whatever command is active. And again, you can see that it loaded right here. If I hold the control button down and press the F12, notice how it automatically fills this entire area because we typed in the initials ER. So again, it's for you to decide what you want to do. And again, there are those four combinations.